Hi, 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 everybody. Bernie here. What's up, you guys? I'm talking to you today from another sunny December day here in San Diego. And today we're talking about something really exciting, which is software defined networking, our latest feature in the Ansel private cloud stack. So let's get right into it. I have my Ansel up and running here. It's called Aster and I'm in the network setting here. The, ne the network settings, you probably already have seen them. Um, they've been there for some time now. Um, we have a few physical NICs here. We can enable them um, or disable them. Um, you see all the network settings here. So that's all standard. That's the physical network settings. Um, we have a new column here. It's called trunking. So when you enable trunking here, that means um, we can have the VLAN tagging enabled on this physical NIC here. That would mean we're letting only that traffic through that has a specific tag for a virtual LAN. So with that, you can use your physical infrastructure, say a switch or something that you've, that you've installed there and can use the same physical equipment for several virtual software defined LANs. And you will understand more what the trunking actually is when I've taken you through the SDN tab here. That's the new tab, the software defined networking. So let's look what's behind this here. You see, we can define virtual LANs here and virtual LANs are completely isolated. We can just create a new one here. So um, let's give it a name like my new and let's give it a tag, for example, 17, which happens to be my birthday. Alrighty, so now the virtual network has been created successfully and I can assign a few um, outlets to it. Let's pick these three here and then I'll connect these three outlets to that newly created virtual LAN. Um, so it's being created. It's right here. Um, we see the my new, we see the three outlets here and man, was that easy, right? So you can set up your virtual lands here, you know, really, really in a really, really simple way. Um, anyone can do it. You see the tag here that we assigned. Um, what we can do now, we can also do traffic mirroring. So you would use that, for example, to do some sniffing or so you can install Wireshark in one of your outlets um, to, to sniff on your, on your traffic and get some analytics on it. So you can create the mirroring and you could say, okay, as source, we say the first network, which is, you know, all my traffic. And I want that traffic to be mirrored to the my new network and we can enable it from the start, save that configuration, and we have the mirroring here. We can edit everything, delete that thing, and man, is that easy to use, right? So now we see those two VLAN tags here, and, um, and again, if you go back to the physical network settings, enable the trunking here, then, you know, we will only receive traffic on that physical interface here, if we have some tags for it. And if we don't have it, we don't get it, we don't receive it, and we'll leave it for other, other, phys other physical devices that are connected to, to your network. So that's basically it. It was a, it was a short, um, short tour. Don't forget to smash the like button because it really helps the YouTube algorithm and it advances our movement and that's what we all want. Please leave me a comment, uh, tell me what you think about it and whether you need any additional functionality or what use case you have in mind for the software defined networking. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this little video. Talk to you soon and see you in the comments. Bye.